Hello and welcome to working with City Engine and SketchUp tutorial. In this tutorial, I will be demonstrating how SketchUp models can be imported and used in City Engine in a few steps. For this demo, I have selected a project site somewhere downtown Toronto and downloaded a 3D mass end for the area from the City of Toronto's Open Data website. To start off, I'll need to create the context for the project site that I'm going to be working on in City Engine. In order to provide the necessary background for the SketchUp model, I'll need an aerial imagery and terrain layer, the 3D massing for my area of interest, a road layer, as well as zoning parcels, and a building layer converted from BIM data. If you're interested in learning how to convert BIM data or Revit files into GIS format, there is a BIM to City Engine workflow tutorial in our Resource Finder website or YouTube channel. Before importing the SketchUp models, I'll first need to prepare the project site to represent the current conditions. Since the buildings have been created beforehand, it wouldn't be necessary to make any changes to them. If, however, there were no existing 3D models for the buildings, I can quickly generate them in City Engine using existing building footprints. To represent the current conditions, I'll start with the roads by applying a CGA rule to give them a more realistic appearance. I can also modify the configuration of the roads after the rule is applied and make changes as needed. For this demo, I'll select our area of interest and model it out in greater detail leaving the rest of the area to appear more generic. Using the inspector window, I can change some of the parameters to refine the look and function of the street. This functionality in City Engine allows me to customize layers in as much detail as possible. But in this case, I'll only change a few things. I'll select a level of detail appropriate for the street, adjust the sidewalk width on both sides of the road, and change the road width accordingly. If I wanted to make additional changes, I can adjust other street attributes such as road markings, crosswalk, sidewalk planters, road median, or the distribution of transportation modes on the street. Now that I'm satisfied with the roads, I'll move on to the next layer. I'll apply another rule to the zoning parcels to display the zoning regulations for each parcel. The parcels are displayed to show the maximum buildable heights, setbacks, and the land use associated with each parcel. This is useful for visualizing and understanding zoning and regulation compliance as it relates to existing and proposed developments. If necessary, I can adjust the parameters of the parcel data to reflect any desired conditions. Because visualization in City Engine is data driven, users can take advantage of all the attributes within a data set to create visual representation that support decision making. So essentially, the richer the data set, the more questions can be answered by it. Now that I have my project site set up, I can now bring in my SketchUp models and start to design the project area. I have a few buildings and models that I downloaded earlier from SketchUp saved on my computer. These models have been exported either as OBJ or in Collada format. In this demonstration, I have imported files from SketchUp but there are other formats that can be consumed by City Engine. These formats include FBX, KMZ, DXFs, or Esri's conventional multi-patch feature class. 
To import 3D files into the City Engine, I can either go to the File menu, choose Import, select the file type, and point to the object file path. This method is more effective if the file being imported is properly georeferenced. Otherwise, I can just drag and drop the 3D file to my desired location from the Navigator window. Once the model appears in the scene, I can then use a set of adjustment tools in CD Engine to correctly place my 3D object and if necessary, copy and paste models to create any desired form. Next, I'll bring in more models to create a more meaningful look in the project area. I'll add some rural townhouses and place them strategically. I'll also add some mixed-use buildings, which could potentially be used for commercial and residential purposes. Lastly, I'll add a high-rise building to diversify the housing stock. Now this building layout may not be ideal, but it should suffice for this demo. So far, I've imported models from SketchUp into City Engine. Now I'll bring in and place the Revit file I referenced earlier in the tutorial. This is just to show how different file types can be used in City Engine. Because this Revit file has been converted into a multi-patch feature class, I'll need to import it from the file geo database where it's stored. Once I'm satisfied with my scene, I can either export each individual layer as a 3D file or I can share them online using CD Engine Web Viewer or ArcGIS Online. I can also export the scene for use in an AR or VR environment. So with just a few steps, you can bring in 3D models from SketchUp or similar applications into CD Engine. This concludes the working with CD Engine and SketchUp tutorial.